Hey guys, my name is Zediac and welcome back to another episode of Mad Games Tycoon 2 where your boy is building the world's best gaming company right now. <laughs> Last episode guys, we set up the ability to now start producing our own games which means we no longer need a publisher uh, when it comes to creating games which saves us not only a ton of money but in by doing so we make so much freaking cash money moolah. It is unbelievable. Now, we kind of uh, found out last episode, I, I struggled to figure out how to take a game off the market. We kind of figured it out. It was quite a simple and easy process. JJ, everybody. But games make so much more money than they did before. So today then, we currently have like an engine feature or we have a new miscellaneous, which I'm going to get for AAA. We're on the countdown pretty much now from the ability to, well, if I bought this room here, 63 million okay don't have enough of that but we can't be far off now on I and mean, we're pretty much on the countdown to being able to potentially um be able to start creating our own consoles i don't know what year that kind of gets unlocked so we never up a new game straight away and we've been making big boy games so i think we might remaster an old game just to get things rocking and rolling so i can't quite remember what we've done what we've remastered i think we remastered charter didn't we that is what we remastered at one point. And I'm just kind of looking... Oh, we can remaster WWE. That came out in 86. It sold 1.1 million units. Everything around it. Next Last Fantasy 2 was the next one, the best one after that. Oh, we're going to remaster WWE. Remastered. Nice. Got your boy Marcus Pearson, the, the creator of uh, Minecraft, on this right now. Double A. It all stays the same because we can't change it because it's a pretty much a remaster. Make it now for all the best consoles. So how do I sort it by market share? So personal computer. We got the, the Pretendo, which is the Nintendo. We got the the Katari. And we also have the, the Byte 2. Nice. Uh, got all this good stuff. Leave it as it is. Leave that as it is. Enable all the features. 33 features now available. Go, 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 go. Get it done. So, we're going to get things rocking and rolling straight away. We ain't messing about, guys. We're getting this done. Hopefully, if I research AAA games, it might then slowly start to unlock newer stuff that I can then get set up and running. High quality sounds. Throw it all in. Oh, hold on. You could do some polishing. Is that it's like something additional I can add into the game, maybe? Polishing. Ooh. Right, anyway, we're going to improve uh, gameplay. Get that up and running. So everyone is now working towards getting WWE remastered up and running. Genius. Genius. So we need to see how this grows then. So we are now, we made 6.4 million off of the NFL. We are hoping we can make so much more money because even if I did have the ability to unlock the console development area and start making my own consoles, I need room to do that. To have room to do that, i got to buy this piece of land right here for 63 million. This one I can buy for... Oh, that one's 10 million. That one's 35. Okay, so we can actually buy this one. So there is cheaper ones available. That's all good. Uh, we'll go for a middle booth because we can have potentially NFL and WWE uh, go in, which will build up a little bit of hype for both of them and hopefully sell a little bit more. So we currently have 34 hype. We could build up a little bit more for um, WWE by doing a little marketing campaign. So WWE Remastered. We'll do some radio ads. Lego. Lego right now. So this is going to be interesting. So I don't know whether to expect us breaking any records. We did recently upgrade and improve the, um, the graphic studio. Move the sound studio over to here as well and hired more people. I wonder if there's any more people like, available that we could potentially hire that would be good. So in terms of graphic design... Oh, oh, you're good. Hire you. Yes, please. Um, and who else have we got right now? So that was graphic design, music and sound. Okay, we'll just hire you. So an extra person in both rooms would help us out dramatically. Someone used the engine right now. Got some engine fees coming in. Nice. <laughs> and we're pretty much just ticking along. We're pretty much... Everyone's using the Sengen V6 right now. It's a good engine. Everybody wants to use it because they know if they use it, they're going to be able to make a hit, hit, hit game. Which is going to be wonderful. Very nice. Very nice right now. So, we are going to continue development and we will self-publish it when it's ready to rock and roll. But we're now polishing the game. So apparently our other departments can also do that too. I didn't even know that was a thing. When, when did that come out? I have no idea. 
But uh, 132 bucks to get out anyway. Who's going to finish first? It looks like it's going to be the graphics studio. So wait for them to finish right now. And once they've done... Oh, no, they've still got more stuff to do. I do apologize. I do apologize. It could be these guys here. They're going to go straight into bug fixing. Or do I make them do polishing first? Hmm. i got too many decisions at hand, haven't I? Too many decisions, Zodiac. Too many. Um, right, no, it's going to be the graphic studio finished, right? No, they're still going. How much more stuff are they going to do? Oh, do they automatically go to doing polishing? Is that what it is? That could be the case. Right, if I cancel task, yes. And set them to Im bug fixing. Night your bugs. Get the bugs out right now. I think they're automatically like, like polishing the game, right? Is, is that always been a thing? Oh, that's the biggest um, engine revenue share we've had recently. Which is really good. Bam, ba bam, bam, bam. Making all the funds right now. All the money is right now. Thirty uh, thousand. About to say thirty thousand bugs. No, that's not the case. That's not the case. But do we win anything from uh, N NFL? Oh, Chai remastered one best soundtrack. That's an old game. How has that one come back around? That's a really old game. Like, really old. <laughs> uh, these are finished their development right now, which we can get some gameplay features on the scene. Online multiplayer. How are we getting online multiplayer and we still don't have the ability to create our own console just yet? What is going down, boys? Also, we've stopped now selling an NFL, so I can take that off the market. i got to remember, which one do I click on? Remove game from market. NFL. We made 7.7 .7 million. That's good. That wasn't even a great game either. And the fact that it made so much money is pretty good. Right, so we're going to finish the development. We're going to self... It didn't break any records, which is a shame. A real shame right now. But we will self-distribute. So within this, I'm going to keep it all as it is. And just make these a little bit more juicier. Go $65 there. So we're making big, big profit margins right now. In the standard edition, we'll also include the color game. And maybe a poster. Uh, how many weeks? We're going to go 10 weeks so we can make enough um, to be able to sell it. you got a 12. Okay. Oh, it's a hit game, boys. It's a hit game. So we are now going to produce that game. And we're going to make um, 300,000 normal orders. 100,000 Dulux-ish. 100,000-ish collectors. I'll make a little bit more. So, a lot of money from the offset that we kind of pump into it. We're going to sell the stock of Flight Simulator. NFL. So, it's just WWE right now in there. That'll just keep us rocking and rolling. And we're pretty much all good to go. So, that's going to do what it's going to do. We're going to make a ton of money off this. It's just too easy. It's like printing money, boys. So, you can now develop MMO games and build the necessary server room. Oh, my goodness me. Is that something I've got to research or can I legit just build a server room? Oh, snap. I can build a server room. Which, MMO games is massive multiplayer online. Is that is that the right word? It's basically an online game. We could create, like, Fortnite. Oh, that's amazing. But I do need room. Like, a lot... Oh, wait, we've got room here. I wonder if... I could get away with building a server room, let's say, here. If I went a little bit bigger... Uh, door. Put the door just there, so I've got plenty of room to play around with. Now, a server cabinet. Now, I take it, is this room going to need air conditioning because it might get hot in here? Ooh, I don't know. Right, if I place down five of them, get like an air conditioning unit to keep the room nice and cool. Is that all I've got to do? Uh, servers are overheating. Already, okay, we need more air conditioning. <laughs> so, let me add more to the room. Now, all objects up to date. Wrong button. There we go. Uh, air conditioning. I can get another one in just there. There we go. So we got a million, whatever that number means. A million capacities. But here we can do a subscription price. Uh, okay, I think that's when we can change stuff of the stuff that we kind of make, isn't it? Yeah. Game Pass. Ooh. Okay, this is exciting. So how, how would this work? Hold on, before I do it, let me just do it as another gameplay feature. Adjustable HUD. Right now. But I want to see ultimately what happens. 
when we create this MMO. So is this game this game's two weeks away from being able to start selling. We can now research 32 bit sound as well, apparently. And now we're starting to make money. So I've got to keep an eye on how quick we start selling WWE remastered. Because then that also then means how many more units I then need to start making. So, do you know what? It's actually making quite a nice little chunk of money. I'll take that. So, if I was to develop a game, I could do a new game. And then how does an MMO work? Game type. Oh my good god. It is 10 million. Do we, do we just do it? I'm going to do it. No, actually, do you know what? No, before I do it, why don't we... Can I get these guys to support... You can't get them to support our research team. Right, fine. I didn't mean to support them anyway. <laughs> but get that done, just because... Right, additional game features now in. I can get all this stuff in as well. 32-bit sound, 3D voxel graphics, improved AI, level 2, 3D graphics there. But they're going to take a little bit too long to get done. And I just kind of want to get this game out there. Right, okay, we'll, 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 we'll just do it, guys. We'll just freaking do it right now. So a new game. Uh, massively, massively multiplayer online game. We'll go for a double-A game because it doesn't need to be that big because we don't really have that many features. It's going to be for everybody. And I think... We shall go for a hmm, a strategy game. Strategy. Uh, colonization. We can call it, whoa, World of, no, that's World of Warcraft. We can call it WAH, World at War. WAH, <laughs> that's our very own version. So let's next that. Uh, with an engine, the Sedgin V6, getting all the platforms on it right now, the Macintosh. Oh wait, do we need to buy some new ones at this point? Buy dev kits. Um, dev kits for purchase. No, none of them are really that good, so I'm just going to kind of buy what we can buy with whatever the high market share is for any of these. Nice. Uh, all that in, good stuff. Uh, all languages. I don't know what to do with this. I really. Don't. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I'm just too excited. All features. There's 35 features now in. Right. Okay. So fan letters. Oh, we got fan letters. Nice. Um, if you want to develop an MMO, or uh, all platforms must be internet ready. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's the the Sega Mega Drive here. That's not internet ready. So this is internet ready. But if I buy any other platforms, okay, no of us are internet ready by the looks of it. I, I take it the E means internet ready. I assume it does. So this is gonna be really. This is the first time we've ever created a um, MMO game. How this is gonna turn out, I don't know. I don't know. I could be making money. I could be losing money. We just never know. We're just never gonna know. So still make it selling. Well, making some good money after WWE remastered the game right now. This this game is now starting to get underway, up and running. Rocking and a rolling. And um, will we break records on this one? Again, this is just something... I just don't know what's going to happen. It's just too exciting. Way too excited right now. But let them do what they've got to do. We have no hype for this game just yet. So I could get some marketing underway. It's for a game. Not WWE Remastered. Wah. There we go. <laughs> Wah. <laughs> It's my play on WoW, World of Warcraft. This is World at War. Everyone's going to love this MMO game. Everybody. So split screen multiplayer. There's Easter eggs being thrown into this right now. Improve random events. There is so many. I mean, the more stuff you add in, you know, the longer it's going to take to get stuff done. Right, middle booth. So we can get some more sales for WAH and WWE. Nice. We've got 97,000 units remaining in stock. Well, more than that, really. Uh, Senjin, got a revenue share. All good. All good, all good, all good. So now then, it's just... Now, I'm actually feeling how long it now takes to create a game. I feel the time it takes. It now takes a lot longer. 
Oh, we lose some sound effects. That's not good. But we can now research force feedback, um, orchestral soundtrack, um, and all that kind of jazz. So that, that's, again, all improvements that we're trying to keep on top of. But it will never end, these improvements. It will never end until your boy has the world's best game. The best. So 7.2 million we've made profit right now. Jazzy. Real jazzy right now. It's now starting to rain. Improve physics. I like it. I like it a lot. So 85% of the way now done. Still got some time to uh, put into this. See, like, I still got two things to do. These guys got two things to do. These got one thing to do right now. The graphics studio is, like, I think, it's the quickest one ever. Additional studios outside of the programming studio right now. And, oh, we've got no units left for um, WWE Remastered. Hey, God, hold on. Continue development. I don't know what... Um, will it sell stock? It's the standard edition I need more of. So drop you, drop you. Not so many. I'll do 84,000. Get those produced so we can start sending some of them. They sold straight away. Damn. I need to. I might need to make some more. Will, it, will you sell again on this next one? Oh, I'm going to have to make some more. There we go. Another 100,000. There we go. There we go, boys. Start selling all over again. All over again. So we've got, wow, nearly 300 bugs in this one. We've still got a while before we can start getting rid of the bugs. I'm hoping that's going to be enough games right now to kind of see us through for WWE, but 11 million profit? That ain't too shabby. I mean, I've only got 32 million in the bank, but then again, this game, I know, cost me 10 million for making an MMO. A million for making it a double A game before I add all the other stuff on top of it. So, oh, best graphics, best soundtrack, oh, best developer of the year, game of the year. Oh my goodness me! Okay, the, the thing that I haven't won is worst game of the year. Never want to win that one, but I've never won publisher of the year. So I don't know what it entails me to do to be publisher of the year. I don't know, but I can't believe how many awards you just won right there. WWE, amazing. Freaking amazing right now. So we're waiting for this to get done and we can get the remainder of the bugs out. But can you feel how long it now takes to create a game? Ooh, that's when you gotta start thinking, okay, Tenyak, is it now worth the while to make sure all your staff are trained? Maybe to make additional teams. It's like a case of maybe we can create like a secondary of each team so we can work on two games at once. I mean, double the teams does mean potentially double the income, but it does mean double the uh, running costs as well and things get super expensive right they're about to finish this so now they're just polishing they're polishing right now i realize there's a little icon what polishing means these haven't quite finished polishing and there's still over 200 bugs to get out just yet so wow it's still ticking along i reckon this is gonna break quite a few records this one so we're now polishing, but I want it to cancel the task. And I actually want it to do some bug fixing to get those 200 bugs now out. These guys are now completely finished. We'll get them to do some improved AI. Wow, I don't really... 5,000 for like the gameplay and like nearly 5,000 for the graphics side of things. I don't think I've ever seen numbers that high. This might break records. Oh, we've actually run out of... Uh, hang on, produce game. I'll do 24,000, because I don't know how many more I'm going to need. But will it sell us the, the, all that 24,000? Will it, on the next month? It did. It did. Oh, snap! Right. Hold on. I'll do 50,000. 50,000 big ones. So, 100 bugs left to go. Well, we need to sell, we sold half of those 50,000 big ones straight away. Granted, there were pre-orders, obviously, but 25,000 right now. We're still making money off WWE. It's ridiculous. Um, right. Are we going we gonna to close 5,000 on the graphics side on, on, on the wah right now? Wah. We're going to need more units, the way that's kind of selling right now. So hold on. I'll make 140,000 and leave it as that. Leave me alone at that point. I ain't making no more. 
Um, right. Okay, where are we at then? So, 31 bugs left to go. 30 odd bugs left to go. 10 to go. It is all done. Bugs are now officially all out. So we're pretty much ready then to finish the development. We break a record on everything right now, which is good. We're going to self-distribute it. Now, isn't this meant to be an MMO game? So how would this work? So 35, 50, make this 65. Big money being made right now. Uh, 10 weeks to get done. Set the initial, set the price for the monthly subscription. Okay, we'll make it $6. There we go. So, do we still have to, we got a zero. Do we become, oh, we don't even get to do that. Right, that's fine. Do we get to, do we need to produce the game? Wah, by the looks of it, yeah. Uh, this is going to be a massive online multiplayer game. So, we're going to do a million units there, half a million there, half a million there. So this is going to cost me a fortune, but I'm willing to put in the investment. All the money we've made from WWE, I've invested 14 million right now into wah. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Apparently there's a legend uh, developer now we, or something like that we can now hire. Uh, so if I go by name, not by name, by... Um, ah, there he is. He's, oh, he's a graphic artist. Right, there we go. Get him in there, boys. And then we've got seven weeks remaining until this gets uh, game gets released. So I take it a subscription price. We can now potentially change it. Uh, FSB model can't do anything like that. So this is probably all this future stuff that we can eventually do. Game Pass. Okay, interesting. So I want to see what exactly happens. Well, I keep getting all this engine stuff researched anyway. We've got six weeks remaining. I've got more units being produced than I can physically store in my storage area. Which um, is potentially a good thing, because as we keep selling, we're going to keep making anyway. The The price for this game keeps going up as we keep producing more and more units. So it's just pretty much the waiting game right now. So a middle booth. Select two games. Wah. <laughs> and WWE. Lego, boys. Lego. We'll see what happens. So as more and more people buy the subscription, I think that's how many users we can hold on the server, isn't it? So we could maybe potentially set up to like a million subscriptions. Is that how it works? We've got a new game, well, new dude we can also hire as well. Game designer, which we'll throw him into here. Another legend. We'll take him. Oh, snap. And now it shows us the subscription costs as well. So not only are we selling the game, but we're also earning money from, what, monthly subscriptions at $6 a pop? That's going to be big money over time. Like, real big money. Like, real, real big money. Right, let's take WWE off the market. There we go. It's all gone. Made $60 million. Amazing. Sell the additional stock of... No, 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 not of WAH. WWE Remastered. That will give more room for WAH to be created, but it didn't really make up that much room. But pull it this way. 44000 at $6 a pop. It all adds up, guys. It all legit adds up. Right, one more game engine feature just there. We'll get that in and create a new game engine. But is this going to make us the money? Who knows? Who knows who knows 13 million 12 million coming in we got it going good boy we got it going good boy yeah boy <laughs> right 12 million in the bank 11.6. We got it, boys. We got it. That money's slowly coming down. So Motion Capture Studio has now been unlocked. So we can now add Motion Capture to our games, making them even better. So that's going to be a brand new room on itself. Where is it? Motion Capture here. The only one left to unlock is the freaking console development. We're getting so close. 
so close to be able to do it. Right, this is now going to be done, the graphics. So no new engine features, so we'll get them to kind of do some of this stuff. While we now add to the engine. So developer engine, update an old engine. We call it the V7 at this point. Uh, new features, so we've got all these new features here. All these ones, these ones, and this one. So there's a lot of new features being added in. Uh, personal computer, yep, is going to be the one. Keep it as it is. Get it done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, I think the WAC game, the MMO right now, has a longer lifespan than most normal games because it is an online game. I think as the sales and like stuff starts to dip, maybe that's when we have to create like an expansion pack for it or something like that. So we want best graphics and best soundtrack. Nice, I'll take it. But we're still 8 million in the hole. But look how high these, these aren't dropping as bad as it would do a normal game. And we're still getting subscriptions coming in. So it's, it's gone up a little bit there because the game's won some awards. Which is good to see. I think we can start now um, producing more games and let them just then sell out. Which are going to take a while. <laughs> they are going to take a while. But let them do what they've got to do. 100,000 subscriptions right now. Put that into perspective. It's a lot of people want to play the game. It's a lot of people. Right, keep getting all this stuff done. All the stuff done right now, guys. Sengen V7 is on the way. Wow, we're making so much cash. 5.6 million. We're getting to the point where well, we've had a turnover of 14 million already. So that's good. New cheat engine available. Sengen V7 has now been done. And we're getting close. So 3.5 million. We're going to go down to on the next month. 3 point, almost 2. So we're making like 300,000 a time right now. Which is going to keep ticking over. So gameplay features, orchestral soundtrack, get that in. We've got 45 million now in the bank. Just think of how much money that has now gone up. We sold an additional over 100,000 units since we completely filled that up. Platform taken to the market. New research available. Everything's all happening. And subscriptions are now slowly starting to go down. So if I was to create an update or an add-on, and you could do a paid add-on or an MMO add-on to WAH, this could potentially increase the amount of new stuff. So I could add to this game new items. We could add new pets and mounts on a higher level cap. Uh, new side quest as well. New enemies. And if I left it like that, because then it always gives, gives me room then for more additional stuff moving forward. So I left it like that. Call it the add-on. Um, gameplay will make high. Graphic fine. Techniques maybe down. Yeah. Um, we'll buy a new copper protection. Get that in place. And I think we can buy a cheat engine right now. Yeah. Get that. Put that into place, enable all languages, and enable all features for what we can add in, the new features just there, and get that rocking and rolling. So a completely new add-on. Um, I don't think we can do it. Can we polish it? Yeah, we can do polishing. Polishing, just to add to it. So we can't add anything additional to it because we've already done it all. We're just kind of like improving on top of what we've already done, the base frame of the game, basically. So while we might be losing a few subscriptions, we might have to claw some back. We're still selling the game, though. And with the, the hype building up that there's a new um, expansion coming very soon, more and more people are going to start going to buy the game all over again. New gameplay features. Wow, we lost that much in it. That's not good. That's not good, is it? So keep a working, keep a rocking, keep a rolling. Ooh, nice, more hype building up. And we can add more stuff to it as they keep going, as they polish it a little bit more. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty much ready to release it. So let's... Oh, and give the, the, oh it breaks records. Okay, so I can self-distribute this add-on. Can't change the price, apparently. Give it 10 weeks. Okay, okay, okay. Wasn't the greatest. That's fine. But if I produce the game, the add-on, 
I ain't making nowhere near that many copies. Yeah, that created right now. I can't wait until everything's all digital and I no longer have to produce anything. That's how you make the money. That's how you make the serious money. So I wonder how it's going to affect WAH right now, this beautiful little add-on. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? That's going to be real interesting. So get that done. New gameplay feature. Weather effects. Ooh, jazzy. J -j -j jazzy. And it's going to go and sell in five weeks. Five weeks to go. It's all we can do. It's all we can do. Boys! <laughs> Three weeks to go. Come on, I want this add on out right now. Oh, there we go. This will boost some sales and get some hype. Nice, nice, nice. What I like to see. All gone up. Damn! 2.9 million. In debt. But it's now starting to sell. How quickly it sells determines how many more products I start to make. But it is increasing the subscription and stuff over here, which is a good sign, I suppose. We made 7.4 million so far, and that will just keep on going. It's not like if I start losing subscriptions, I'm gonna, I mean, subscriptions are going to go to zero before I start making money. This little add-on might be able to build up on, the, uh, on the, the hype that we've had recently. But everything is good to go. We've got new genres available. We can do like a building game, first-person shooter. That's a good one. Get that stuff done. And then I think next episode, we can then focus on building our motion capture room. we got 53 million in the bank. I don't know whether I'm going to build another MMO very soon right now because it's a lot of work for, at the moment, feels like minimal profit. I, ma I made so much more money off other games. But I don't know whether... Well, then again, I'm not finished with WoW. I've still got many, many moons to go. So many, many, many more subscriptions until they reach zero. I've also about to... I've already sold out of that. <laughs> Make the same in the add-on. Get the goods are moving and the rocking and the rolling so we can start selling them. And we've now officially started making a profit off the add-on. So a nice little benefit. Keeps these guys a little bit happy. Everybody are happy at this point, right? Well, I hope so. But I think on that note, we're going to end it here, guys. So much stuff we got to get done in the next few episodes. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good bye. <laughs>